Hey everybody, this is Mr. Capcom and I'm just doing a quick review of a new app and I guess you would say it was a uh, widget that, um, that's that been put on the Android market um, and it's called the Google Sound Search. Now personally, I usually use um, I usually use Shazam for my ID of songs and it was nice. Everything I would uh, ID would go to Facebook and you know would share it and that's the one thing that this this widget doesn't do it's not a real app it's just a widget that's by Google and because I love Google so much I like to have um, only Google products or like whenever there's a product or something like that I'll, I'll try and use that over other things um, if you want to share things out um, to different media networks then this probably isn't your the best thing to go but if you want something that's reliable and has a pretty cool widget it's nice now, the main reason why I do like this is that I notice when you do tag a song, it's, it, it goes into the search history. And it also, when you click on it, it will take you to the Play Store to download it. Um, the cool thing about that is if you do purchase music through um, the Google Play Store, you can, get where, you can find that song on the radio and you can buy it immediately, which is pretty cool. And I like that. But personally, I don't. I have my other ways of getting my music and buying my music. I don't necessarily buy it from... Google Play Store. So, but the so you might ask, well, why is this hot? Well, the reason why I like this is that usually nine times out of ten, when I tag something, I'm going to be on my cell phone because I'm going to be out, be in my friend's car or whatever, and I'm going to be listening to music. But the cool thing is that I notice is that this list it stays with your Google account. So whatever account you sign in, that's where these tags go. So if you go somewhere else, and I noticed on my Nexus Seven when I hit the history. Everything is in everything that I tag is in there, and this is good because if you're sitting at home, you're like, I wonder what that song was, and you just tagged it, and you and you're sitting there, you're like, oh, okay, well it's on my phone. If your phone is there, you don't have your phone, and you got your tablet around, you can go and you can look and see your search history here. So that's about it. I mean, it's the the only other drawback I saw is that of course the the fact that you can't really share um, these songs out. I'm pretty sure if you went to the Play Store, you could share it from there, but with Shazam, you could actually just share it as soon as you tag it, and um, it was a little bit easier. But other than that, I can kind of overlook that versus um, the 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 ability for it to be just there and it's easy to use. So I'll go ahead and play something real quick. Let me go ahead and uh, play some Wale. Uh, nope, not Wale. We play some uh, Bob B O B. Okay, and we can see it playing. So what you just do. Let's take that down there. And you just go ahead and click what's the song. You just hear it going up and down. Now, there you go. Now, there you go. And it automatically uh, tagged it. Now, another thing that I noticed is sometimes, and, and what was cool just now is that it did it pretty quick. I don't know if it's because I'm on Wi Fi, but sometimes it'll fill up the whole bar straight across the widget and then it'll actually uh, tag it. But. This time I did it real quick, so I guess it's based off of your network connection or where you may be at the time. But it did show it, and it can it comes up. You can have an option to buy it, but if not, um, it stays into your history. And see, it just came up there. Sorry about the <laughs> the wording, but uh, it stays on there now because I tagged it on here. Let's go ahead, and take a look on my tablet, and there it is. It just tagged it over here, and here it is. Um, and when you click on it, of course, it'll go to the play store you can download that but um i usually get all my music edited so i wouldn't be buying that from the play store but it's a nice widget it's something nice that's included with android and that's always the, the cool thing to get is that you know you want the os to have most of these options and it's not bloated and it's from google opposed to if i got shazam i have to install it this is already there um on 4.2 devices i believe but before that you can always go into the market and download it so if you have any other questions about the, um, the app, um, and actually it's just a widget. Remember that you have to go into widgets to find this. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And uh, I'll leave a link for where you can download the widget if you um, don't have 4.2. And I'll talk to you guys later. See you.